I mean, it's got potential in theory, but I'm going to show you why it's a very hard pass from me. Hi there, my name is Kevin. This channel came from a love of traveling, a love of the full process and the journey itself. I feature airline trip reports and high-end hotel reviews from all over the world. My reviews aren't sponsored by airlines or hotels, so you can be sure to get my unbiased and honest opinion. Am I an expert? You can decide. Am I fair? Yeah, I am. Let's get into it. Welcome to Koh Samui. If you'd like to know the exact rate that I paid for my stay here or my next five videos in queue, please check out the description below. Here we are walking into the Sai Chueng Man. Allow me to be kinda crystal clear. This video has one and only one agenda, to show you the resort so that you can decide if it's a good fit for you on your next stay. As my other 187 videos on this channel will show, I call it like I see it, good or bad. So this is simply my good faith assessment of my experience at this Sai resort, and in every case possible, I'm going to show you, not just talk about, how I form my opinions. Check-in was a thoroughly pleasant experience. From the get-go, it's clear that the reception staff are very friendly and well-intentioned, and they'll give you a cup of tea while they finish the check-in process. I was also granted an early check-in, which subject to availability was included in my room rate. As we head down to the pool area, let me briefly talk about Sai and why I chose this resort. Sala and Como are two small, upscale or luxury hotel brands which are based in Thailand and Singapore respectively, and I've always found that they provide outsized value at their properties in this region. It's always seemed to me, at a local upscale brand, since you're not paying for that big name, you can typically pay $200 to $300 per night for an experience that would cost you like 50% more at a big name brand hotel. So, Sai, with its four resorts, has been on my radar since this channel began. Sai is owned by S Hotels and Resorts, which is owned by Singha Estate, which is owned by Boonrod Brewery, the parent company of the namesake Thai beer. On the S Hotels and Resorts website, they categorize Sai resorts as quote-unquote, upper upscale, described as quote, a regional brand with international appeal, targeting millennial mindset global experience seekers looking for down-to-earth luxe, strong destination connection, and personalized moments worth sharing." Unquote. So I think we can agree that it seemed to be a good choice or at least fit into the channel. Let's very quickly check out where we are. Sai currently has four resorts, three in Thailand and one in the Maldives. Today we're going to, of course, be on Koh Samui in the Gulf of Thailand. The property has one restaurant, a cafe, and this poolside bar. The pool areas, beach, and landscaping throughout the resort are either great already or have potential with a bit of renovation. Case in point, the pools themselves look fine, but the motley collection of loungers, in not so great condition, doesn't exactly scream upper upscale to me. Let's take a walk to my room and I think you'll agree the landscaping is very well kept and does give this resort an intimate tropical feel with just 52 rooms or villas. We're actually walking towards my second room now, and I'll show you why I needed to change. My original room was very near the central pool and was absolutely filthy with a really strong chemical air freshener scent. 
whether it was hairs or dead bugs around the vanity, stains of what sort I don't know on the water bottle holders. hair in the shower area, what seemed to be stains on the sofa cushions, and what was definitely stains on the carpeting. Wood trim that was either in bad repair or filthy. Some more hairs on the window. It wasn't going well. I tried to call the front desk, but the phone in the room didn't work, so I text them on their in-house app. After around 30 minutes, a new room was ready and I was assured that this one was in fact clean. A member of staff escorted me over there. While I was waiting, I found it curious that the chain locks were on the outside of all the villas. I'll restrain myself from speculating what that's for. Okay, so here's my actual room, a pool villa, which is the most common category at the resort. The layout of the room itself is nice and it makes a good use of the space in the oddly shaped roundish room. Plenty of space for working, dining, lounging, and unpacking. Only instant coffee was available, but frankly, that is pretty much the least of my concerns at this point. I'll let the rest of the room speak for itself. Okay, so obviously, I was not paid to make this video by this hotel or any other entity. I film this anonymously in the same fashion that I film all of my hotel and resort reviews. I think filming anonymously is the only way to get a true impression of a hotel or flight, but it's not quite as easy, or in this case as pleasant as it may seem. So that's why your likes, comments, and subscriptions are all really greatly appreciated, as they do help the channel grow and continue to put out this twice weekly content. A big thanks for watching today, and if you'd like to support the channel more, my Patreon's linked in the description below. The outdoor space is the highlight of the room, though the pool is more the size and depth of a hot tub, but not hot. But would it surprise you if I told you that this room was also uh, filthy? Splatter stains on the throw pillows and the mirrors above the bed, charming. More hairs and grime in and around the vanity area. The same kind of stains on these water bottle holders, 
but this time it also came along with a long white hair. Finally, some various hairs and small stains on the bedsheets. It was, overall, not so great. If I was here on a personal vacation, I would have left. But it's all about the content, right? So I prepared myself for dinner at the olive oil restaurant, which has seating both inside and beachfront. As I'm sure you noticed in almost all of my Thai videos in this series, I had family who was visiting hop from resort to resort to join me for dinner each night. Tonight, I specifically asked them to stay at their resort, not exactly anticipating a world-class meal ahead. The food was fine. I tried to pick a few things that it would be really difficult to get wrong. And in that, okay, we both succeeded. And only when I got back to my room did I notice how insanely dusty the TV was. Anyway, after a less than stellar sleep, the next morning at least the sunrise didn't disappoint. The northeast part of Koh Samui generally has very calm and clear waters, and here is no different. That calm water though, it means that there's really no excuse for a less than clean beach. I've certainly seen much worse than this, but even considering it's a pretty rocky beach, if your beach is clearly your best asset, perhaps attending to it a little bit more might be a good idea. On to breakfast. Comparing the offering to the five stars that the hotel says that it has, as well as compared to other resorts on the island in this price range, the offerings here were limited and the whole spread just felt a bit cheap. I'll note the beautiful breakfast spreads available at, for example, the Hyatt Regency or the Sala Chowang, both of which have rates that are similar and sometimes lower than Sai for comparison. Overall, I think you can agree with me that the location, as in the setting itself, and the bones of the resort have a load of potential, and with a proper refresh and retraining, the resort could offer a decent product and value. But for me, if you can't give me a room that makes me feel comfortable that it's clean and fresh, none of the other stuff really matters all that much. And last up, we have a small fitness center near the front desk area. Given all that, I do hope that you enjoyed this video for what it's worth and will give it a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss my upcoming flight and hotel videos from Vietnam, South Korea, and Japan. Thanks for watching till the end.